Hello there everyone, my name is Sean and I'm from the United Kingdom and the reason that I've made this video is that I would like to share with you myself and my family's experience whilst I've been helping Anthony Quinata with Harold the Haunted Doll. The first experience that we had was when we were returned from a relative's house. We had been out for dinner and we had come in through our back door into the dining room and there my two children Annie who's five and Lonnie who's two were playing with some toy trains on the floor and since they were pretty occupied I went upstairs to where my wife had went straight up to do some housework and I stood on the landing and was speaking to my wife who was just in the bathroom and I was asking who was going to take Annie to bed and who was going to take Lonnie to bed and before she could get the answer out I looked down the stairs to the back door to see my daughter Annie walking out of the back door and Lonnie closing the door on her and saying bye. Now my wife didn't actually see all of this. She came onto the edge of the stairs and was able to see Lonnie waving goodbye and shutting the door. I ran straight down the stairs thinking that Annie had left into the yard but looked to find that the gate was still shut and came back in and saw Annie just sitting playing with the toy trains to my right on the floor and I sat on the floor and I, ju I just couldn't work it out my wife Roxanne came down the stairs and she said what is it what's wrong and I explained that I saw Annie actually walk out the door but it couldn't have been because she was actually sitting there still on the floor and and this greatly perplexed me at the time but I kind of put two and two together and I thought that perhaps it was something to do with Harold because I had been warned that these kind of things could happen when I was helping Anthony. Now this kind of thing was to be a little bit of a recurring theme because my son Lonnie, he's, he's still very little and he's not so good at going up and down the stairs so I like to accompany him when he's doing it. And one day I seen him heading for the top of the stairs to go downstairs and I ran towards him but then he wasn't there and he was actually playing with his toys in his bedroom. Another experience that Roxanne had was when my friend was back in town and we'd popped out to the local pub for a few drinks and as we were sitting I noticed Roxanne looking over to the bar area and she looked really very concerned as if she'd seen someone that she didn't like or, or something like that so I asked her I said what's what's wrong and she said it's nothing I'll tell you later but when we got home she said that she was really quite spooked out because even though I was sitting right next to her at the table as she was looking at the bar there was a little sort of CCTV camera unit and on the screen uh, showing the images from the CCTV camera she saw me standing there, same clothes, same ma mannerisms, everything. On a lot of other occasions, Roxanne would hear myself, Annie or Lonnie calling out her name, but we hadn't done it. We'd been either out of the house or in different rooms in the house. Also, she witnessed me walking out of the front door just over here. That's it there. Uh, she'd heard me saying earlier on that I was going to the shop, but she assumed when she saw me walking out of that door there that I was going to the store which was just like a little bit of a walk down the road when I'd actually took the car to the supermarket and used the back door. Now when I came home a little bit later on through the back door she says wow you've been away a long time and uh, I, th I thought you would have just come through the front door and I explained that I'd actually been to the supermarket and she that's when she told me that she'd seen me walking out of that front door. By this time, noticed that a lot of the things seemed to be happening to Roxanne and things kind of came to a little bit of a head for her when she had this kind of experience one night. 
My son Lonnie isn't the best sleeper in the world and he'll often wake up in the night crying and asking for either myself or Roxanne. And this night when he woke up, uh, Roxanne went into his room to try and settle him down. She got into bed with him and whilst she was settling down, she actually fell asleep. Now, she woke up what she thought was a, a short while later to feel what she described as an absolutely terrifying presence just at the side of the bed. She thought maybe she was just like having a bit of a waking dream. So she just cuddled into Lonnie and started to drift back off to sleep when she heard a female voice coming from the top of the stairs saying, Gail. Again, she could feel this presence at the side of the bed, but she just cuddled into Lonnie and went back to sleep. And just as she was drifting off again, she would hear the voice, Gail. And this happened another two or three times after that. What was interesting was the impression that she got was that this was happening because I was helping Anthony and she started feeling these feelings of terrible anger towards me and she actually said she was pleased that she wasn't lying in bed next to me because she thinks that she probably would have hit me. Uh, such was the intensity of her anger as, as if I was somehow placing my family in danger. What else was interesting was a day or two beforehand when I was actually out running some errands and Roxanne was just in the room here uh, with Lonnie and with Annie and she heard the doorknob over here rattle as if somebody was trying it. Now as you can see that is frosted glass, it's dark now but uh, through the day you'll be able to see if anybody was there and there was nobody there poor Lonnie he actually ran away from the door quite frightened and tripped over on the way and it kind of ended in tears a little bit for him so basically to wrap it all up um, how could I possibly be affected it, even though I'm thousands and thousands of miles away from the actual doll I don't know I, I, I can't answer that but the best answer I can give you is that the presences the the entities within the doll they seem to have a bit of a long arm and it doesn't matter where you are they can get to you and they can affect your life the things that I've shared with you are some of the more kind of physical experiences there was a lot more kind of personal stuff that was going on in my life that kind of coincided with this, which I'm really not comfortable sharing at all. Anyway, the upshot of all of this was that Anthony contacted me via Skype and we spoke about what was going on and Anthony suggested rather wisely that it would be a good idea for me to back off from helping him. And he was absolutely right because as soon as I sort of back down and haven't been given so much help that things have absolutely died down so there you go uh, that's my story i hope that you've enjoyed it if you heard a little bit of tweeting in the background it's my two budgies there sky and highs the the hear me speaking and the, the feel like they want to get a few words in so thank you everyone for listening and goodbye